Windows Sandbox allows you to test software, open questionable attachments, open files, and browse to websites that you are not at all sure of, all within a safe, protected environment. The Sandbox environment runs separately from the host operating system, and when you close it, all the changes are immediately deleted, so the next time you open it, you start from scratch again. This is Steve Staves, and my goal is to help you make your computing experience easier. Windows Sandbox is a feature that Microsoft added to Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Enterprise operating systems. Sorry, but Windows 10 Home users will not have the Sandbox option. To determine what version of Windows you have, press the Windows and the R keys and type in WinVer. That will list the version that you currently have. You also need Windows 10 version 1903 or later. If you have Windows 10 Home, you can certainly upgrade it by clicking on Start, Settings, Update and Security, Activation, and then select Go to Microsoft Store. From here, you can also see how much the upgrade will cost you. Typically, it's around the $120 mark. In order to enable Windows Sandbox, click on the Windows key and press R, and then in the box that comes up, type Control. This will take you to the Control Panel. Look for Programs and Features in the list. If you would only see six or so icons, make sure in the top right corner here your View By is set to View By either large icons or small icons so that you can see everything. Click on Programs and Features, and on the left, click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. Scroll down this list to the very bottom, and you'll see on mine, Windows Sandbox option is grayed out. If you hover your mouse over it, it'll say Windows Sandbox cannot be installed. Virtualization support is disabled in the firmware. At this point, you need to reboot your system and go into your UEFI BIOS or your firmware, and you need to turn that particular feature on. It's different for each system, so you will need to check your motherboard manual to find out which option it is. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to reboot my system and make the necessary change, and I'll be back just in a second. On my computer, in the advanced settings in my BIOS, there was an option Intel Virtualization Technology. I've had to enable this setting, and I'll reboot my computer to get back into Windows. Another way to get into Turn Windows Features On or Off is to click on Start, and just begin typing Turn. There you'll see Turn Windows Features On or Off. Wait for the list to propagate. Scroll down to the bottom to where you see Windows Sandbox, and you can see mine is no longer grayed out because I've enabled it in the BIOS. Click on OK. It will only take a couple of minutes for the options to be applied. And as soon as it's done, click on Restart and reboot your computer. Alrighty, our system is back up. To run it, just click on Start and begin by typing Windows Sandbox. And there you can see is the Windows Sandbox. Now while this loads, I'll just show you, I have downloaded the Mozilla Firefox installer and put that into my Downloads folder. You can see in the background, Windows Sandbox loaded up pretty quick. Here's the install. I'm just going to drag it over there, or copy and paste it. So we have our Firefox in our sandboxed environment. So if I run this to install it now, it will install. It'll do exactly like it's supposed to do. Let that just run through. In the meantime, I'm just going to go make a couple of changes here. Uh, Taskbar settings. Okay, you can see because it's a sandbox environment, it's not automatically activated, so it doesn't use up a license. There we go, our Firefox is now installed, and let's run it. Okay, so we know this program's good, now we can install it on our main production system. If it was bad and it corrupted the operating system, in this sandbox, not a big deal. Simply click on the X in the top right corner and it'll prompt you. It'll say, are you sure you want to close Windows Sandbox? Once Sandbox is closed, all of its contents will be discarded and permanently lost. Okay, so we'll close that down. Go back into our Start menu. And under W, we'll find our Windows Sandbox. Now remember, we did install the Mozilla Firefox browser. But once we come back in here, that should no longer be there, and it's not. And all these changes that we made are back to where it was to start off with. So, 
there you have it. Windows Sandbox, how to install it, how to use it, and how to utilize this really great Windows 10 feature that so many are not even aware exists. I'm Steve, and hopefully I'll be catching you in my next video. Take care, and Happy New Year to all of you.